Hi, Booktube. This is Johnny. And I thought I'd make a video since it's quiet here. I'm s I'm always saying that. I'm sitting in the dining room. I like, like I always say in this video, in my videos in Booktube, I like the dining room because of the lighting. And I have the, I have the dining room table. I can put all my books around me and I can put my diary down here. This is a, see back here, JK. I've had this since high school. And uh, as I've said many times, I used to carry this around in a little backpack when I was in high school and I would always be writing or drawing or just uh, like a stream of consciousness. It is, uh, tonight, it is November the 22nd, 2017. It is a Wednesday night here in West Michigan. Well, I live very close to Lake Michigan. It is 69 degrees inside my little hermit hut. It is 8.32 at night here in West Michigan. And uh, my wife went back to work after being off nine days. As I have said in my recent videos, we had a very nice visit with our, uh, from our daughter Bethany and her family, her husband Andy, our grandchildren Louisa, Margaret and baby Jack. Very nice time with them and because I, I haven't, uh, I never held physically Margaret uh, and I never held physically and uh, baby Jack so it was really wonderful as a grandpa to hold my grandchildren in my arms and to read to them and to sit down and play with them. Uh, when I was growing up I had a grandfather but I don't remember much about him. He died the same year my mother died. My mother was killed in a car wreck in December of 1968 and just that same year my grandfather died. I don't remember much about it. So, um, my son-in-law, Andy, who's married to my daughter, Bethany, his stepfather recently died, and his birth father died when he was a, a teenager. So, I am the only grandpa that, uh, on my, my daughter's children, Noah, and I'm the papa. So, anyway, I thought I would uh, talk about books. That's why we have BookTube. Uh, what I've been reading today, uh, well, first of all, in my diary, I'm on page 1050 tonight, and I've been reading, well, today I read in this morning, Justification in the Gospel, Understanding the Context and Controversies by Arch Mike, Michael Allen. I've really been enjoying this. Uh, I started... Tomorrow I'll start on chapter 4. It is no longer I who live, Christ's faith and Christian faith. And so I've been in reading that in the mornings, the last couple of mornings. And today, I don't know if I mentioned this book. Uh, this is a book called by John Russell, London. I got this book a while back while volunteering at the local library used bookstore, The Book Nook. I think I bought this a couple years ago for about, I think it was a dollar. And I keep it on my, on the coffee table in the dining room by my reading chair. And I read it once in a while. And I've been reading that today. It's a, it's a basically a history of London by John Russell. And it's full of illustrations. Uh, like today, uh, you know, it's full of illustrations and um, I don't know, as I've mentioned in previous videos, I collect books on the City of London, the history of London, literary London. Uh, I never visit London. Uh, our son Josiah and his wife, a couple years ago, took a trip over to Scotland and England and went to London, but due to my 
anxiety and my fears of flying. I'll never see London. I can read about it. But anyway, I really recommend this book. I really enjoy reading it. I keep it by my by my reading chair and I glance at it once in a while. So I read that today. And I read, I've been reading still Schlesinger, The Imperial Story and the Biography, Richard Attalus. Been reading that still. And what else have I been reading? I've been reading, I mentioned Between the Woods and the Water by Patrick Lear Fairmore. And I also got back into reading uh, For Love and Money, A Writing Life, 1969 to 1989 by Jonathan Rabin. I start reading his little biographical sketch on Trollope today. Those who know I really love Nope, I don't like that word, love. I really uh, have enjoyed reading the writings of Anthony Trollope. I recommend him. I think I've shown in my videos over the last couple of years my Anthony Trollope collection. He's really worth reading. So that's what I've been reading. And uh, like I said, I've been writing in my diary. I thought in this, uh, yesterday, it was kind of dreary out, kind of cloudy and gray, but I hadn't been to local thrift stores in about over a week, and so I went out in my old Dodge van, which is rusted and falling apart, but keeps going. I visit local thrift stores, just there's three local, uh, three local thrift stores. Bibles for Mexico, Action House, and Goodwill, just just around where we live. And uh, I made the rounds, and this is what I found. At Action House, the only thing I found was this interesting uh, edition of Ulysses, a novel by James Joyce. I like this because of the large print. My editions are usually, they're hardback or they're paperback, but this is a really has an interesting format and so uh, I put my book marker where I'm I've tried to read Ulysses by James Joyce I don't know how many times so I put my bookmark those who know I, I use index cards as bookmarks I put it at where I last read so I got that and then I went to Goodwill and it was interesting, when I was at the Goodwill thrift store yesterday afternoon, I ran into somebody that I have talked to before uh, a couple of months ago. He watches my videos. He lives here in Holland. His name is Ron. Uh, we had a good talk. We were, he was looking at used books and I said, oh yeah, I know who you are. And so Ron and I, we talked for about a half hour. And uh, these are the books I found at the Goodwill. I found Behind the Beautiful Forevers, Life, Death, and Hope in Mombay Undercity by Catherine Boo. This was uh, in 2012, 10 Best Books of New York Times Book Review, National Book Award winner. I've seen this at the library used bookstore, The Book Nook, and this is only 60 cents, and so I got myself a nice clean paperback edition. And then I found uh, this book here, Village of Secrets, Defying the Nazis in Vichy, France, by Catherine Moorhead. This is, uh, takes place during the Second World War when uh, the Nazis occupied Paris under the Vinci uh, regime. This is a trilogy. This is the second one. This is by Catherine Moorhead. And what else did I find there? Oh, I found Ship of Fool, Ship of Gold in the Deep Blue Sea by Gary Keeler. This is a story of a shipwreck. I know it, it looked kind of interesting, so I, I got it. Then I found this uh, Penguin edition of Joseph Conrad, The Heart of Darkness, a novel by him. Uh, I collect 
the novels of Joseph Conrad, biographies, literary studies. I like the cover of this. This is a Penguin edition. And I found a book by the atheist Christopher Hitchens. Is not God is not great, how religion poisons everything. Now, I'm not an atheist. I, I love the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe in the Bible. But um, I'm not afraid of reading the writings of atheists or those who reject God. Doesn't I just read it because I like to read things that challenge my thinking. I'm not afraid of atheists or agnostics or Buddhists or Hindus or Muslims or pagans or whatever because uh, I've experienced the Bible. I just not, I not only know the Bible mentally, intellectually going to seminary and Bible college and being a Christian since the summer of 1970, but I've experienced the Lord Jesus Christ. I've experienced the truth of the Bible. So it doesn't bother me. I also, after a goodwill, I went to Bibles from Mexico and found this biography on Queen Elizabeth I by Ann Somerset. And I found this at Bibles from Mexico. I've got these for the book nook, the library used bookstore, because I have these in my own library, our own library, The Prince and Other Writings by Mechavelli. This is a Barnes and Noble classic. I, you know, I bought this for a quarter and I, we can sell it at the book nook for a dollar. So it makes money for the library. I have the writings of William Dill, Dean Howes. Uh, this is Silas Lepep, The Rise of Silas Lepep. I got this for a quarter. I can sell it. We can sell it for a dollar at the book nook, the library used bookstore. This is Kaffa, The Metamorphosis and Other Stories by Kaffa. I have his writings, biographies, literary studies, but I bought this for a quarter. Like I said, we can sell it for a dollar at the library used bookstore. And I found a novel by, uh, oh, I have this one too. This one I have her novel, The Point at, the Point at Furs by Sarah Orange uh, Jerwitt but this has her shortest stories. I didn't have this. So yeah, I found those at the uh, Bibles from Mexico. I also found this, an another Elizabeth Berg novel, Open House. I, those who know I started collecting Elizabeth Berg. My wife just finished reading Year of Pleasures by Elizabeth Berg. My wife says it's a really good novel. So those, uh, I also found at Bibles from Mexico, The Red Earth and Pouring Rain, a novel by, uh, his name, he's an, a writer, Vikram Chandra. I have two copies. I like this edition I found of uh, Bibles from Mexico because the print is larger. My edition I had in my library is very small. I'll take this edition to the book nook Friday when I volunteer. Also at Bios from Mexico, I found all these old Penguin classics. No, excuse me, the Penguin Shakespeare, printed by Penguin. These are old 1960 editions of the plays of William Shakespeare. You have Hamlet, Richard II by Shakespeare, Othelio by Shakespeare, Measure for Measure. These are all from the 1960s Penguin books. King Lear, The Tempest by William Shakespeare, Richard III by William Shakespeare, Henry V by Shakespeare, The Pelican Shakespeare, Anthony and Cleopatra by William Shakespeare, 1960s, The Merchant of Venice, The Winner's Tale by William Shakespeare, I got all of these for a dollar fifty. I like the little covers. One thing that kind of bothers me about them that obviously they were used in a class because they're underlined. But I couldn't pass them up 
for $1.50, all these little editions. I have one volume editions of the pl of the plays of Shakespeare, and I have other editions, but I don't know. Maybe I'll take them to the book nook. I also I found this book at uh, Goodwill, Writings on Art, by the very famous artist Mark Ruthko. So I found these. So those are the books I found at thrift stores the other day when I was just wandering around. Uh, like I said, I've been enjoying reading The Justification of the Gospel by Michael R. Michael Allen. I really like uh, For Love and Money and Writing Life by Jonathan Rabin. I've been enjoying reading Between the Woods and the Water. The full title is Between the Woods and the Water on Foot to Constantinople by uh, Patrick Lee Fillmore. This is a travel memoir. Uh, memoir. And uh, been reading about Schlesinger, who was a a historian, uh, he was a confidant to John F. Kennedy during the Kennedy administration before John F. Kennedy was assassinated. He's written uh, The First Thousand Days by Schlesinger, which is a, a historical account of the, the John F. Kennedy administration as president. And today I've been reading with pleasure John Russell's little biography on the hits on London, England. So yeah, that's what's going on in my book world. One thing else I wanted to mention is that I come across these videos about people getting sick of reading who get who've had bad reading experiences who've been, this is like we're coming to the year of 2017 and they found that they've not really enjoyed the novels or the books that they have been reading. And so what I did, I went, I looked at my online diaries the last three years and at the end of every year I list month by month what I read during those months, what I read through December and January and February, March, April, May, June, July, etc. And I, I've always had enjoyable readable reading experiences every year. Now there have been books where I have if I don't if I read something and I don't really enjoy it or I can't get into it, I just stop reading it. But I read I think what we have to do is read read all kinds of, of literature, read nonfiction, read uh, essays, read memoirs, read letters, read Christian literature, read the Bible, uh, read memoirs, or read short stories, or read poetry. Just read something every single day. Uh, and not just stick with novels, or fantasy, or science fiction, or thrillers, or mystery, or graphic novels. But I think if you mix it up, you might have a more pleasurable reading experience throughout a certain given year. That's what I do. I, as I look through my reading year, to, as I write down what I've read throughout, like 2016, I've read all. I've read all kinds. I read all kinds of things, uh, as you can see from what the books that I collect and the books that I, I read throughout each given month. I read all kinds of things, and. And sometimes I come across a novel that really I really enjoy, or a nonfiction history, or a memoir, or some mystical treatise, or some biblical commentary, or some book of poetry that kind of that I enjoy. And but I think you have to just explore all kinds of literary genre. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I can't think of one year I've not come across something that has been a pleasurable or something that I thought was really worth reading that I would recommend to somebody. So, uh, like I said, this is tonight is a Wednesday, 
we're coming to the end of November. This tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Uh, my wife is working, and I'm not really into Thanksgiving. I am thankful for all the Lord's blessings, material and spiritual. I believe that we should live a life of thankfulness. Uh, but my wife is working, and like I said last Saturday, my wife went over to Grand Rapids and had Thanksgiving with our older son, his wife Emily and Josie, and our daughter Bethany, Andy, Louisa, Margaret, and Jack, and some family members from Andy's side, our son-in-law. But I didn't go due to the bad weather. I can't drive in bad weather. I get kind of freaked out, panic attacks, anxious. So, uh, like I said, I hope you're having a good week. I've had some new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the comments. I hope you have a good Thanksgiving tomorrow and that you are all doing well. And until next time, bye.